Where's Lars going to be? Right here? He's going to be wherever he walks in and sits down. Why <laughs> <laughs> not get the Lars Ulrich I know you've been listening to me for years. Simply pull the finger. Come on. <laughs> oh, oh. Sharp. <laughs> All right then, so check, what check, are we doing? Check. Should we sit down? Sure. You can do whatever you want. You can dance. You can, you you can sit behind the drums. You can, so embarrassing. Uh, yeah. um, let me, let's close this door. We're closing it. Get so a little he intimacy. He wants to take a couple pictures and then he's yeah, going to jump can, out. I can get out. Okay. And that's going to be our videographer. All right, we do that. Oh. Perfect. It's professional. We're like almost level. what we're doing. Shut up. Yeah. Um, please, sit down. See. Don't you think? Since we're here. All right, I tell you what, why don't you get next can to I, him and I'll right. work the mic between okay. you so you can just concentrate on the well, can, conversation. Can she help oh, yeah, sit down, I'll take a picture. No. <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, He's not not nervous. to be scared of Lars. I don't you know what, I'll this. interview you. How about no, don't. Oh, <laughs> I saw the one interview you did. Okay. About Let the NAVS or thing? Yeah, it's yeah. no. Okay. <laughs> what do you like, think about NAVS? Uh, we like to uh, have uh, a little uh, fun here. I know, I We can't take any of this stuff too seriously. What part of the world are you from? I'm uh, New what? Berlin. New hey, before we start, hold on one second. It's the gas band from 1029 The Hog backstage at the Metallica oh, show <laughs> with Lars Ulrich and Bob Johnston, our uh, grand prize winner. And uh, I'm going to turn it over to Bob right now so he can interview one of the biggest drummers on planet Earth. So don't be nervous. Go ahead. Wow. No, you, wow. you, I'll That's... hold it. You go ahead. Oh. Okay, thanks. <laughs> don't, don't, be, uh, don't, don't be intimidated by a man standing in front of you with a mic <laughs> shoved up your nose. Okay. Well. <laughs> I'm not used to this too often. Um, well, first off, I'd like to congratulate you on the new Thank album. You. I appreciate that. And it's Thank up you. for four, four Grammys, right? Yes, it is. Absolutely. Must have been a slow year for everybody else. You think so? so? It's it's good. It's absolutely. It's a great year. We've uh, we're fortunate to have, have been nominated a few times. We've won a few times. We've been there, and it's a uh, you know they might even invite us back this year. Who knows? So it's all good. Uh, and belated birthday. It was uh, December 26th, right? Yes, it was. The most uneventful day of the year. Thank you. I woke up, watched a couple movies in bed, and went back to sleep. Very uneventful, the way I like it. How about the... Uh, did the group do something for you? They uh, attempted to pie me uh, in Oakland uh, a couple days before Christmas, which was the last show. There is a reason Metallica doesn't pay. Let me take my cough drop out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> um, there is a reason Metallica doesn't play shows on December 26th, but they got me anyway this year. Uh, so there was nothing but love about, uh, behind that, and we had fun. And I did my uh, Jesse Owens impression, ran across the stage as quick as I could, uh, sprinting, um, and uh, almost got away, but uh, I got caught at the pass, as they say. So it was good fun, um, and now I'm uh, almost as old as Kurt Hammond. Right Which behind would be? Uh, 27. <laughs> <laughs> Eternally 27. Okay. Um, which uh, which one of the most which one of your albums was the most difficult to do? <laughs> God bless you. It's been cold here, hasn't it? Uh, yes, I, I noticed that when we were tough complaints today. Yeah. Um, which has been the most difficult? What do you mean, like difficult to record or yes, difficult to yes. um, difficult to record? Um. That's a good question. Uh, the Black Album was No Picnic. That um, that took quite a while, and that was a lot. That was the first time we worked with like a real, you know, name producer, and um, we were button heads a lot and, and kind of uh, getting to know each other. That was uh, that was back when we were young and spunky, and we, we weren't so uh, nice to each other um, as we are now, respectful to, of, of each other, and we, we didn't listen to each other like we do now. So that was a lot of. Uh, a lot of this all the time for for a year. Um, that was, excuse me. That was probably. God damn, dude. Gas man. That was not an easy record. I, I'd I'd say that's that's probably been the, the most difficult one of all. Okay, your favorite album cover that you've done. Which one is your favorite? Well, I have to say Death Magnetic because a friend of mine did it. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Uh, uh, we we go, our kids go to school together, and um, and I most of the time with um, with record uh, covers and stuff like that. It's always you know these guys that do a lot of music stuff and a lot of record stuff. And this friend of mine runs a, a design company, but they'd never done anything music related before. So I thought, David, take a stab at this. And then he came up. Now he's Grammy nominated himself. He's one of the four Grammy uh, nominees. 
but one of the four is, is the best album package. How cool. Yeah, so my friend David Turner, God bless him, he um, put that together. So I'll have to go with that. So that's like the booklet that has every page cut out a little slightly different as we're going through like the caskets and... Yes, okay. yeah, yeah, very next level. Did he have different, uh, did he show you a couple of them and you picked Yeah, them? He, uh, there was about three or four different ideas. Uh, they were all very good. Um, the hardest thing about the whole thing was actually picking which design to go with. Uh, but we wanted, we thought that the death magnetic coffin and the whole thing was very uh, iconic and easily recognizable. And even though, of course, there are a few folks who've made fun of it and say that it resembles a, uh, you know what I mean? Um, what's the nice radio word for that? Uh, guide me and I'll give you the radio word. <laughs> that would be a woman's uh, vaginal oh. area. There you go, vaginal area. Yeah, okay. You can say that on the radio, no walk. <laughs> Uh, it's still very iconic. Genitalia, there Genitalia, you go. Genitalia, <laughs> wow, how PC. Uh, but there's a lot of people, listen, what do you want your album cover to be? You want your album cover to be iconic and you want people to talk about it. So you can't be picky about whether you want it to be, say, good or bad things. As long as they're talking about it, they're talking about it. So it's, uh, I'd say Death Magnetic. I'm, I'm very happy with the way that whole package worked out. Cool.